in the farm. The farm is a business that's trying to earn money, it's trying to earn a profit. And so things have to be efficient and make sense. For me to put down wood chips is a lot of work. It's a lot of maintenance. You have to continually put them down. There's a lot of them you have to get and bring them into each pathway. You can't just drive a tractor in there and dump it. And unfortunately, the problems outweigh the benefits. So I'll start with the benefits first on the farm. The benefits can be, well, it looks nice. It also will help hold on to moisture. So your plants will have uh, a place to get water. If you live in a really dry area, let's say you're in you know, Australia or in a, in a desert location, it's going to hold on to a lot more moisture in your paths. Uh, it also adds organic material to the soil, at least under the path, and, you know, maybe, you know, somewhat into the bed. Also, let's say you have excess moisture and you have really muddy paths, then now you have something where the water can drain through and, you know, you have a less muddy place to walk. For my farm, even if it was muddy, I wouldn't put down the wood chips because I find another way for drainage. Um, in terms of water, I do have irrigation, so I wouldn't do it to hold on to water. And I add loads of compost, and there are wood chips in my compost. So I'm getting all those benefits of that organic material and adding to the soil life already. Now the downsides of wood chips is it does not kill weeds. It only slows them down. So weeds are going to start to come up through the wood chips. And they already started to come up through over here. And now you can't cultivate anymore. There's no more cultivating down the paths or anything like that. And you're going to be hand weeding for the rest of your life. That's just the way it is. So if you had covered, if I have covered my whole farm with wood chips, we would just have workers on their hands and knees walking the path, pulling things out by hand. That is really one of the worst things. That's the worst downside to it. The other downside is voles and mice love living in wood chips. So they're going to be going, they're going to live underneath the wood chips and then they're just going to be hopping into your beds to eat. And that's the second worst thing. That's just something you can't have on your farm. It's the reason I don't use plastic or anything like that. Uh, it's not the main reason I use plastic. I use plastic because I don't like the look of it, but I, you know, they're gonna live under the plastic and just start eating things. So those are the main reasons I don't use it on the farm and, and I never would and wouldn't recommend anyone else to use it on a farm scale. You know, if you, you know, if that's your preference, that's great, I'm just giving you my opinion on it. But in the garden, our garden is a very small space and I'm not even doing it out there in the extended garden, just in this small part of it because it looks nice, it's so nice to walk on, and soft, um, just looks great. It's such a small place to maintain. So I'm not so worried about the weeds. Like I don't mind coming in here and pulling out some weeds in this small section because the, the, the family garden is about enjoyment. It's not about profit, it's not about making money. It's okay to be pulling out some weeds here and there. Yeah, we may get some vole issues, but whatever. You know, this isn't stuff we're selling. We can lose a bit of it. So in the family garden, I'm willing to put up with, you know, a little bit of problem with it because of the benefits of just being able to live in it and play in it and enjoy it. All right, so thank you so much for watching and uh, until next time.